Hello, my name's Joanna. I'm from the Sustainability Committee here in North Andover. This is Luke. One of our committee's main goals is to promote environmental awareness and education here in town, with the ultimate vision being to conserve our natural resources and the earth for generations to come. You may be familiar with our townwide cleanup event around Earth Day that we do every year. Community members come together and clean up trash all around town and then the DPW helps gather it and dispose of it properly. This is a great event at the end of April and it's child friendly as well so check it out if you've never been. The other thing we've been doing that you may have heard is we have a rain barrel promotion that we do around that same time. Um, we're working on doing that twice a year because it's been very successful and this is another way that we're trying to promote sustainability by capturing um, rainwater. You can conserve this finite resource and save money in your water bill too. But today I'm here because I want to talk a little bit about another way we're trying to promote resource conservation and waste reduction. And that's a little practice known as composting that you can do right in your own backyard. Right, Luke? Mm -hmm. Composting is when organic materials and things such as food and yard waste decompose and then they create a nutrient-rich soil that people often refer to as black gold. By composting, not only can you create the super soil that you can add to your garden and lawn and houseplants, but you can also remove hundreds of pounds of this organic matter from your household waste every year. And by reducing the garbage that you have, you reduce the garbage that's transported from your curb each week over to Holt Road where it's then burned. Why burn these materials and add to possible air quality degradation when you can compost it and reuse it at home? So I'm here to tell you today um, which materials are compostable and which aren't tell you that in a moment but right now I wanted to just let you know that our committee alongside the DPW I've joined with the Massachusetts Department of Environmental Protection to offer North Andover residents backyard compost bins for only $25. Um, the bin is called the Earth Machine and it's available at the DPW located at 384 Osgood Street. Um, you'll receive all the parts to the bin and a simple and easy to follow yet detailed instruction manual that you can use and, and compost for years to come. Um, I've researched this bin a lot and I've found really good reviews on it. People rate it really high and in fact I've seen it ranked as the number one backyard composter out there. They retail in stores for around $100. So for $25 this is a great deal. It's a great promotion. Um, it's easy to set up. The size of the bin is perfect for maneuvering and easy mixing of your compost. No rodents can get into the bin um, and the access to the soil that you get after composting is, is merely effortless. Um, Right now, over 2.5 million earth machines are used worldwide in over 3,500 communities. That's a lot of composting, huh? Mm -hmm. So, um, now that I told you a little bit about the bins and the promotion that we're doing, I just want to tell you how easily it is to do it in your everyday life, what you can compost in the bin. So in the kitchen, Luke, do we compost all of our food scraps? Yes. At the end of our meals, mm -hmm. right? When I'm prepping my food, I do that. I put it all in the compost bin, right? Yep. You can do fruits and veggies, coffee grounds and filters, peanut and eggshells, rice grains, flour, stale cereal and bread, tea leaves and tea bags, just take that little staple out first, and any other table scraps you have after prepping or eating your meals, right? Yep. We don't recommend that you compost meat and bones, dairy, grease, fat, oil, or fish. That's it. Everything else can go in. And from your yard, you can take leaves and weeds, lawn clippings, bark, pine needles, dead plants, and even wood ash from your fire that you burn outside in the fire pit. Yep. As long as your wood isn't treated, or you don't use chemicals on your lawn and, and your plants. Because yeah. you wouldn't want to do that and then put in chemicals into your compost soil, right? No. Um, so anyway, there's a, lot, there's a lot of information on composting online. Um, you can easily look it up. Um, but we wanted you to know about, about the $25 um, the promotion that we have going on. It's a really, it's a really good, really good um, idea to do. So what's your favorite lunch? My favorite lunch is grilled cheese and chips. Grilled cheese and chips? So if you have three pieces of grilled cheese on your plate, no. You have four pieces of grilled cheese on your plate. You ate three and you have one left. What do you tell mommy to do with, with the sandwich that you didn't eat? Throw it in the compost. Yeah. And what does that do for the earth? It makes the earth healthy. Mm hmm And it makes the earth... What does the compost turn into? Soil. Yeah. Which is good, right? Yeah. Why throw it in the garbage, right? Because then the garbage just makes it garbage. It doesn't mm -hmm. turn into anything. 
That's right. It turned into what? That's right. So, um, like I said, there's a lot of information about composting online. Um, it teaches our kids wonderful ways to preserve our resources and the earth. Um, you don't have to take my word for it. Go find out for yourself. And it's something that, if it's something that you'd like to do, um, call the DPW. They can tell you a little more about it. Um, you can just go down there and grab one for twenty-five dollars. Um, I think you'll be glad that you did. Want to say bye? Bye. Bye. <laughs>